Hi everyone, I'm about to do another Plan With Me week in my Erin Condren, my Horizontal Planner. Thinking I should probably change the name from Planner to Memory Book or something like that, a journal or something. But anyway, uh, let me give you thoughts about changing the name on that. And um, I would be honored if you stick around and join me and check out the week with me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. To my loyal subscribers, my viewers, thank you so much. It means the world to me to have you stop in and visit from time to time. If you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you take a minute, click on that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. And I am going to be doing another week in July in my Erin uh, Condren, my horizontal planner. I just love using this planner and it's not because I've got a lot in my life that I've got to plan and be ready for. So these are my memories that I love to share my memories. I need this to kind of motivate myself because I'm kind of falling off the track on my health, my fitness goals this year. And hopefully sharing this will help keep me accountable. It'll be colorful and just uh, fun sharing memories so that I want to come back and do this every week and show off how much I exercise, which I'm falling off the track on that so anyway need your help on that but anyway i appreciate your comments on this and i am still trying to find the perfect balance to groove here to make it um helpful to me because i want to use this as a tool in my health and my fitness goals i also want to jot down my memories and just have some kind of record of that because you know um back in the day i used to love to sit and listen to my mom and she would tell us stories of you know growing up through the depression and um, getting married to my father and they worked on a traveling carnival when they were first married and then they were in the glass bottom boat business and then later um you know they moved up to boston and he went back to school and you know just had ordinary jobs but anyway it was just so much fun having and sharing those memories and of course now you know it's like what are my kids going to remember about me what are my grandchildren going to remember about me and my past so I just, it's to me, it's kind of like history, it's sharing the future, it's jotting down history, and just, to me, that's exciting, but it's not exciting for you. So anyway, I am hoping that maybe you have some comments for me to help get this going a little bit faster so that it's helpful to me and what I want to do with it, but entertaining for you as well, because... You know, I want to do these videos and have people watch them and say, oh, that's pretty cool. Maybe that's something I can do and and just uh, share memories and things like that with me, too. So anyway, looking forward to your help on that. The week that I am be doing was inspired because I bought some wine. Yeah, I know. Surprise. But anyway, the uh, place that I like to go to in Winehaven, Winehaven in Chicago, they were having an online sale in July. And it was buy three bottles, you get 15% off, and it was $5 to ship, so you didn't have to go all the way down there. Like, what is it, a 40-minute drive? Not even 40 minutes. But anyway, so anyway, that's what inspired this kit this week. So this I got from the Prairie Planner. It was, it's a new shop to me, and it's called The Vineyard. So it's just a... I don't know if this is going to focus... But I just thought this looked like a fun kit for that. I actually put in two orders in July because I wanted to get back in after I got the first one because they had that cinnamon mead wine. And so I had to try that. And then later on in the month, they came out with a port zombie wine. Well, you know, that had my name written all over it. So I actually put in two orders in July. And then in August, they came out with another sale, 20% off and only a dollar shipping. So what's up with that? So you know I had to buy some in August too. But anyway, that's another story. That's another video. But anyway, I'm going to uh, turn the camera around and do some layouts on this. Maybe fast forward through a little bit and then come back at the end and chit chat with you. So anyway, I'm really be honored if you stick with me on this and help um, give me some comments and some ideas on how to do this better. And oh, you're probably wondering, am I having anything to drink? Well, here it is. So anyway, I was sitting outside while I was pulling stickers to use in my kit. So I got one of my plastic glasses that I used to use in the beach. So what was this, like 25 years ago? And I still have these glasses. Yeah, I hold on to things way too long. But anyway, it's just iced coffee, and I am using this creamer. Love this creamer. It's our Starbucks Caramel Macchiato Creamer. Love this. 
people love this iced coffee. There's no liquor in this today, sorry. So not a public service message, just iced coffee. So anyway, I'll be back in a little, in a little bit. Um, anyway, I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Your comments, your thoughts, you're always, always helpful to me. Thanks everyone. Alrighty, so this is the finished spread for the week, and I am really liking the way this came out. This was a new Etsy shop to be called a Prairie Planner, and I just I love this kit with the vineyard, and it went perfect with uh, the theme I wanted to use this week because Wine Haven was having an online sale. So anyway, let's get into the day by days. So on Monday, I got done when I came home. I had uh, some Stitch Fix tops in stitch fix tops that came in from the shop you looks i also watched nina her face mask series her monday morning face mask and i actually did my face mask along with her so that way i knew when it was time to take it off when i finished her video the face mask that i used was also from just nina because i had won her contest a while back where she uh, sent me 11 face masks and they are awesome we had customers that came in at 1.30, which is really different. I'm just still getting used to people being back in the building, never mind customers. But anyway, uh, Wine Haven had sent that email, so I ordered some wine. It was the Cinnamede wine, so it was the honey wine with some cinnamon in it, and it was really good. But um, I may, may or may not buy again. I just like the honey wine better than that. Um, so anyway, I worked on YouTube for about three hours when I came home. And our daughter, Raina, wants to get into some journaling. So I scooped together some things that I thought she could use and got them sent out to her. And this picture here is actually, if it focuses, it's actually Sabrina and Mike and the Jelly Beans and Rick and I. Sabrina had come out and Mike with the babies a couple of years ago. And uh, Rick was still riding then. So he just, um, he had one leg at the time. So he still still had one but um anyway we rode our bike and um well i'm the designated passenger so I, I don't think i'm really riding but i did make a good passenger and sabrina and mike and the jelly beans came along in their car and of course we went to wine haven because what's a family vacation without taking your kids to a vineyard hello but anyway it is just so nice there it's in a little town called chisago city in minnesota just really really beautiful the building they have now is just gorgeous and they got a really nice gift shop so we had a great time Sabrina and I did some wine tasting uh, Rick and Mike had fun with the kids outside just kind of keeping them entertained and chasing them around the ground so that was fun and of course because it's Monday I've got my coffee cup on to Tuesday Tuesday we had more customers come in. Uh, we had some come in at 9 and again at 10. And I do like to write that down uh, when I do get into the planning mode 
because um, you know we just want to make sure the front of the building is nice and clean and do some extra sanitizing make sure that we have um, plenty of face masks just in case they don't have some and just uh, good things like that uh, when I came home I had some happy mail from sticker bloom it's another shop that does some weekly planner kits and when she has her sales, she is, it is so popular that you're looking at six to eight week lead times. So when you do finally get your things, you are so excited. I also worked on YouTube for about four hours. And on to Wednesday. So just another fun day at work because I got to work and I had no phones. I had no internet. Um, yeah, so that's fun. So anyway, I had my phone set up on a hotspot and I tried to work off my iPhone all day. And of course, I had to borrow somebody else's charger because I was losing power like crazy. Uh, so anyway, I was supposed to have a web meeting that day with our largest vendor. They are doing a whole overall on their web ordering site and whatever. So anyway, I missed it. But uh, I'll figure it out as I go, right? So I worked on YouTube for about four hours when I came home. And it was also trash and recycle night. On to Thursday. So anyway, I finally ordered that extra phone charger so I would have one at work so I wouldn't have to borrow somebody's. Uh, when I came home, I worked on YouTube for about three hours. Had a little barbecue out on the deck. I ordered some more of the uh, facial mask uh, from Amazon for doing uh, Monday morning facials. And then I went on the paper company. It's, uh, it used to be Hallmark. And I bought some face masks from them because it looks like we are going to be wearing a face mask for a while. And I just wanted to get a little bit more of a variety. The dress that I wore that day was from QVC from The Attitudes by Renee. Really love that dress. It's the Godet style. Beautiful maxi with some pink flowers and black and white and gray in it. But, um, you know, like I said, I did get it last year and I needed to go down a size. So um, it was still on the website. I had some, some sizes left. So I ordered another one at $38 with six evil pays. So excited about that. Anyway, on to Friday. So we got our Friday girl here. I also worked on another plan with me. I didn't film it, but I got another week done. It was National Margarita Day. So, you know, we had margaritas at work. And also, I had my first Chick-fil-A. I've never had that before, but I've heard a lot about it. It was pretty good. Uh, anyway, I worked on YouTube for about six hours when I came home. And this picture here is when Mike and Sabrina came out with the jelly beans. And they also uh, had two guests with them. So they drove across country with Maddie, Matt, and Jeff. Um, I'm not sure if they'll be doing that anytime soon with four kids in the back car. And of course, now they get a puppy. So that should be a fun trip. But it was a really nice visit. And again, we went to Winehaven and beautiful day. The kids sat out on the patio. They had a nice lemonade that they had mixed with uh, their honey. So that was really good for the kids. On to the weekend. And the weekend was kind of sad because Mr. Griffin went home. His family came back from vacation. So that was sad. I also changed out my wax and I've been trying to use more of the open warmers that I've already started so I can um, make room for more and uh, I'm just kind of neaten them up. So I had some that's uh, cin cinnamon vanilla together and then I had some that was a toasted marshmallow. So I mixed them together and oh my gosh, that was really, really nice. I will have to remember that one. I like that combination. I also had an email from Sensi that they wanted me to go online because they did make some changes to the Sensi Club, which was uh, going to be starting in August, and they wanted me to get my order finalized, which I did, but I was kind of like, you haven't even got my July one out, and now you want me to do August? But anyway, I did get that done, and then I decided um, when I did that one that I would order a second whip box to use as a giveaway, so I'm excited about that. About 10 o'clock that night, I decided to go to Walmart to do some shopping, um, but it's been so long since I've been there, I had no idea, but they close at 8.30 now so that they can do extra cleaning. So um, I went to McDonald's down the street before I got on the highway, and I got an iced caramel macchiato for the ride home. When I came home, I ordered some groceries online, just like some paper products and cleaning stuff, things like that. On to Sunday. So I did decide to go to work that day. I worked from 1 to 6.30. On the way there, I stopped at Dunkin's and got an iced uh, caramel coffee, caramel swirl, extra, extra. 
Um, on the way home, I stopped at Target and got a few of my coffee creamers and things like that. I got some laundry started and finished when I came home. I did another plan with me week. I did Raina's birthday week, and of course that one I didn't film as well. I just kind of grouped them together with uh, two others. I put gas in the car, and surprise, surprise, I found out that I won Kristen from Moments of Sanctuary, her giveaway, so it was an exciting day. The picture that I have here is actually Winehaven, their beautiful, beautiful new building. When we first started going, when uh, Rick and I moved to Forest Lake about 20 years ago, uh, we used to just kind of go out riding every every weekend and just kind of see what was in the area. And it was like a, a little mom and pop shop back then. It was just a little addition to their house. And they just had some a couple of wines and they had some honeys and things like that. And then the next time we went a couple of years later, they had added a pole building. Uh, they, they call them pole buildings out here. And then a couple of years later, they uh, added on again. And now they've got this beautiful, beautiful building here. It's got like field stone walls and they've got bars on both ends. They do weddings and all kinds of events. It's just really, really beautiful. And it overlooks a lake, so it's just a beautiful grounds. So anyway, my stats for the week. And I did not exercise at all this week other than my doing, uh, keeping track of my steps and doing the elliptical at work. So I'm a little uh, disappointed in myself again. So for the steps, I had 111,232. I had pedal for 21.21 21 hours. Um, my miles were 44.07. My Fitbit steps were 58,043. I started the week at 115. I finished the week at 113. Not exactly sure how all that happened. And then I always like to pick out a cute little phrase. Sorry about that, had to cough. So anyway, this was a good man can make you feel sexy, strong, and able to take on the world. Oh, sorry. That's wine. Wine does that. So anyway, that is my finished spread for the week. I want to thank everyone for joining me again. I do love doing these, and I just look forward to your comments, any suggestions to maybe make them more entertaining for you. And we will uh, talk, chat again soon, everyone. I hope you all go out and have a fantastic week. Take care, everyone, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Bye-bye.